Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode. That is a mouthful to say, but right now we are in the square circle. I have level 3 shields, and we are only in Sector 4. I am going for defense, defense, defense on this ship. My next goal is to upgrade my weapon control. That's kind of my goal going into the last video, but I'm actually on my way to that now. I have long-range scanners, a hull laser, and otherwise the default loadout. Getting three weapon levels will be very important for getting my hull laser to do its thing. Still default crew. So if I can get a, just 60 more scrap, 53 more scrap, I'm going to be feeling really good about this run. But right now I do have some quest markers to get to. This is a, skip, a ship that ran away from me at the end of last episode. This is a call for assistance for somebody else. But we're going to start with the distress beacon and we're going to be using our long range scanners to try and get as many fights as possible. That's where I like mantis sectors. They're low shields, high amount of combat. So giant alien spiders, I don't have a clone bay, so we're just going to leave them alone. I do not want to lose my crew. That's kind of a disappointing way to start. And I could be safe scumming and saying, ha ha, I can do it, but that's not what I do. So automated drone, this looks like it's going to have some, oh, it doesn't have a drone control. So it begins its assault and it's trying to run away. So this is, uh, this is not going to end very well for me. No, it's not at all. In fact, I almost should just let them run at this rate. Reason being is that they're going to be able to cloak. By the time they uncloak, my whole laser is going to go out there. I think the rebel fleet is going to be getting combat here. I'm going to get laser swarmed really, really hard once. Assuming these fire at the same time. They're smart. They do that. That's a firebomb that missed. Thank goodness. Okay. So I don't think I'd, I don't feel confident in my ability to take out this ship. So I would really just love to take down their weapons a little bit. So that's another firebomb. There we go. Fortunately, as long as it doesn't hit any vital systems, I'll be okay. But yeah, the cloak plus the ion blast is not a good time. And they have stealth weapons. Wow. That is nasty. You all can just tell the rebel fleet where I am. I don't even give a shit. Thank you for not killing me. Fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. Yeah, hey guys. Let's go to the store, I guess. Let's go up here first. Because we can possibly get some more scrap than go to the store. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Because I want to save some jumps for that other quest marker. Alright, so nothing here but space. That sucks. So I guess we're going here. We may not be able to hit both quest nodes, but that's okay if we don't. More important thing is getting some fuel right now. I'd love to have something to sell. Lifeform scanner. No, no, no. No, no. Chain laser. Interesting. Or hull laser one. Hull laser one is good too. It, uh... Would suck a little bit to eat the cost of this, but it would get me stabilized a lot faster. Chain laser. Well, that's a new one. The shot laser increase, decreases in cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. Shots per charge, two. So that's, that's a good one for building up here. That's good for taking out the hull. You know, I'm actually... I'm actually thinking about ditching the uh, hull laser too, even though I bought it, just so I can have one of these weapons a little bit faster. Question is, do I want the 14 charge, 2 damage, or do I want the uh, 16 charge? And that's kind of the rub right here. Is that 16 charge, but it'll go down over time as it gets more chances to fire. Because, let's see here, how much better question is, I'm not, I shouldn't buy it if I can't upgrade my ship right now to do it. So I need 85 scrap plus another 65 or plus another 55. So 85 plus 55 is what? 140? I mean, I really like the idea of the chain laser. I really, really do. Can I go for one more battle and get some scrap with just this? Because I think fundamentally the chain laser is stronger than the hull laser. Although the hull laser can kill things quicker with systemless rooms because this will go faster. Let's get the new weapon. Let's get the chain laser. I want to sell the hull laser. That leaves me short some scrap, but I do need to get some fuel anyway. So I was going to be short regardless. So let's upgrade here. I now need 22 more scrap. That is a risky, risky move, I know, but let's see what this quest does. Because I, I think waiting for that other weapon just be too long. And there we go, shortly after, you get your reward. I sound like a smoker all of a sudden, I'm so sorry. 
<coughs> Yay! Ship is good. 50 scrap. There we go. And... We put our engines down to one, get some more system power in a minute, and we get a chain laser. The nice thing about the chain laser is that with my max weapon power crew... Okay, so with my max weapon power crew, 20% faster. So that's going to be firing quite a bit along with both of these. So that's pretty cool. I will, I will take that to the bank. All right. So now we can start focusing on other things right here. I cannot do that quest, which is unfortunate. I guess those guys will go unpunished. And we're not going to go near the star. We just got to go to the exit. So selling some stuff to get a weapon, pretty good. I do need some more power. I'm going to uh, dock with the refueling platform. Again, I fell for this twice. <laughs> this, that's got to be something where uh, it's not always like that. And sometimes you do actually get fuel. Ugh. I feel not smart. It's like, I'm trying to... They want me to save the universe. Come on, guys. Don't take out my drones. Don't take out my drones. There we go. Ah, that, I just feel so dumb. It's like... Why do you, why do they even have refueling platforms in space if everybody's going to kill you? You know? So you won't be able to take out my shields in time. That's okay. I can do a little bit of repairs. Uh, yeah, I was really hoping for, I don't know, actually some fuel. I guess at that last store I could have actually repaired too. Okay, we now have a problem. I guess we'll just open up all these doors. Might as well. They're not going anywhere. So my sensors are going to die. Should probably power up my med bay. Yeah, you found my crew. It's like the uh, special egg or whatever. But because you all have lack of air, because somehow all these invasions in space, they're not... <laughs> <coughs> Apologize for the coughing. For all these invasions in space, they're not invading in spacesuits. You'd think after a few years of this game being in existence, the bad guys would figure it out by now, but they haven't. They just board on and hope for the best. Just gonna do some swarm repair over here too, and this is a good time just to say that I'm really looking forward to shooting things with a chain laser. I just have to get something to shoot first. So that was very fortunate my quest marker went there. My priority now is to get another crew member possibly get a transporter or something to complement this if i can get a drone bay that would be amaze balls i just said amaze balls twice i do have my tanking i could go for level four shields before too long but first i gotta see just how this goes and i gotta increase my reactor power so next sector mantis controlled or rebel stronghold that's interesting Mantis controlled or Rebel Stronghold? Let's try the Rebel Stronghold. That's new. I have not seen that before. In one of my playthroughs, I did see an abandoned sector, and I guessed correctly what that was. The new race. Rebel Stronghold's new, and I really should have read the text there, but I didn't, because I'm too used to just clicking, clicking, clicking in this game. Sorry, guys. Alright, so here we go. Ship moves in. It has drones. You attempt to open communications realize when you see the ship running on AI. Okay, um, let's take you out and let's target your weapon systems. I'm not going to be using the combat drone right now because I feel like with uh, everything going on, I don't want to really decrease my system power here too much. Please don't hit my shield. Oh, you hit my engines, you bastard. Okay. This is going to go very poorly in just a second. Because that fire is uh, not stopping. And my engines are about to be taken out, so... Hull's critical, engine's critical. I guess that's F That's the familiar sound of FTL. What else is new? Okay, so, what did I say before? Uh, bad news is always close at hand. Okay, so fires... The fires are at least going out now. I'm a sitting duck in space. I guess I can just cut the O2 entirely and turn this on. Because shit's real. And I've got to take these guys out ASAP. So chain gun, do your thing. There we go. Bears is dying again. You're always dying, dude. I don't even know what hit him at this point. Ion bomb. Ion bomb! Did I not notice the ion bombs before with everything else that's been blowing up in my face? 
Well, at least on the bright side, I'm alive. And look, my chain laser actually killed the drone, so that's good. And we'll just uh, chain gun you here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot to see all at once. So I do like the chain gun. There we go. Please give me something good for that. There we go. Substantial collection of useful stuff. I'd call that a substantial collection. However, now I really, really need a store. And I gotta watch out because the oxygen's low and bears, I don't know if he can survive that run. So let's see here. Having a little trouble seeing what I'm looking at. I guess we're gonna have to find out because I do want him healed up. Go, go, go. You barely lived. But you lived. Alright, go here. Oxygen on, please. Yay, we're still alive. Sometimes I question how. So let's see. I've taken six unnecessary damage from trying to refuel. I've taken all kinds of damage from stuff. I feel like I'm pretty tanky, but not super tanky. And we still don't know what jumps are nearby, so we'll... Let's keep the air on. We'll turn you off for a second. We don't have a store nearby, but we do have a ship. And I feel like I should take on that ship, just to know what's around the corner. And this is where I really feel like more crew would help tremendously. Maybe even the backup battery would really help tremendously. But let's find out. Let's go to the next jump. I'm going to encounter another ship. Because I, I could try and run, run, run and say, you know what, let's look for a store. But this jump's actually the jump I'd want to take anyway because it gives me the most notes to know if there's a store nearby. I feel really dumb for not repairing that other time. But here we go. More. Okay, so an intruder's on board. A flush, panicky rebel soldier's a topor on board. Rebel who appears in armor repeatedly declares peaceful intentions. Accept the proposal, prepare to fight the rebel ship. And we get another crew member just in the nick of time. What did I say before? I wanted another crew member. We have another crew member. Alright, so that is a Burst Laser 3. Also known as the Really Scary Laser. And I think I'm going to need to combat drone this, so we will go right here. I know I was just getting the air back on. Let's uh, Ion Blast this, let's Chain Laser this, and let's hope for the best, because that is three shields. All right, so more borders. In fact, we'll just keep you here right now. Because that's probably the best room they could have boarded with me turning my air off. All right, now we just gotta hope that, uh... okay, you can set that room on fire, I guess. That's okay. Actually, I may as well just open that door now. Wow, okay. That's not good. I think I'm actually going to die here in just a second because I am just taking all kinds of damage right now. Or maybe I'm about to stabilize, I don't know. That is a scary bomb. really don't want my drone dying here. And please don't tell me it's going to be the damn Leto missile that does me in. They did deactivate my drones. So I I am system critical right now. Door shut. Okay, bears go here. I need both of y'all here right now. And now we are in survival mode where we do need to find a, a store to repair or this run's going to be ending really quickly. And I will not accept surrender. Not when you all did that much damage to me. Okay, they have clone bays, so I don't know if the cat will just come back the very next day or what. Gotta repair that too, might as well. So that was a pretty horrifying fight, I do say. Yay! Success! And we get even more rewards. Please be a store. Yes, there's a store we're going to survive, unless the store happens to have things that will just blow me up too. Oh, okay, well we are going to be able to full repair, and that is the number one priority. 
even if there is a, a drone bay because quite frankly that's just how it's gonna be so we'll just move you all over here let's put you all in your default positions move you over here we want you on shields I do like having the shield person on doors because manning the shields would not have done me a lot of good there but the important thing is that I'm still alive is this the jump where I stabilize I don't know but I'm not gonna get greedy I'm not at three health and there we go explosive replicator that's great for missiles reconstructive teleport that's great for that emergency respirators low oxygen mind controls fun clone base fun Oh, lots of weapons. A flat gun, too. That's pretty cute. Fires a blasted breeze across the room area. Doing up to three damage. Good at taking down shields, but hard to aim. That's true. Hull beam, breach. I don't feel too bad about missing any of this. Although the mind control is pretty important. So let's see. I cannot do a full repair, but I can do a repair as much as possible. Because I don't really want to sell anything. I could sell my long range scanners, but there we go. Still alive. Got my chain gun. Need need some more reactor power, I think. <laughs> but maybe this is <coughs> I'm sorry, maybe this distress beacon will bear fruit. I don't know. So this is a rebel stronghold. There should be plenty of rebel ships around here. You find a source of distress called Mass Research Station. Here's between a small laboratory of fire got out of control. Um, dock and try and rescue the survivors. That's what we're gonna do. Oh fuck. Four damage to your hull. Alright, well, you know what, whatever. That system damage. Looks like there's some damage up here somewhere. Oh well, I got some scrap. Would have liked to have gotten another crew member there. Don't have a transporter, which kind of sucks, but I've still got some sectors left to do it. And we're going to be fighting as much as we can. Just to see what else we can get. So, automated ship. Two shields. Let's attack it. That is a uh, scary drone boat. Why am I not surprised? Okay, well, let's turn off the air and the engines here and combat it. Take down shields, take down weaponry. Maybe I should actually take down the drone control first, but those those ion shots can get pretty nasty pretty fast. But since I have someone manning the shields, I should be able to get that back in a hurry. Or at least in enough time to where my shields are not going to completely evaporate. I said not completely evaporate where the ion's really tough. Come on, hold on, hold on, ship. There we go. Ah, always fire in the drone room. Okay, well. The air's already off, so maybe I'll be able to take that out fast enough. Okay. Okay, what are you what are you doing, Debbie? I brought you on here. I know you're a repair master, but I really need you to be a shield master, right? So let's here. Please, fires, go out. Don't give me one more hull damage for my drone room. I got one more hull damage for my drone room. Okay. So please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. There we go. Wow! Uh, my gun just took out another drone. Yay! 38 scrap. Investigate the station and we got even more stuff. Question is, do I just jump back to the store? Answer is, I can't. So let's pick our devil here. Close to a sun filled with a pulsar star. I think that's a pretty easy decision for we're not doing the pulsar star. I could investigate this ship. I guess the first thing I need to do is turn on the damn air. Because I got some repairs to make. Since we have our repair master here. Our Debbie, our defector. So it's just, this is this is maybe the most fun part of the game for me. It's just the, you feel like you're stabilized, you feel like you're just about there. Can you make it the rest of the way? Because I need to, uh, let's go ahead and get some more reactor power. And that'll let me actually have a drone up and some reasonable dodge. And back to stations. Whoo, hard mode is no joke. I guess let's go for this ship or the star, because I don't I don't really know. This is probably an invader of some kind. Um, and there's no consolation points for just getting to the end if I don't get enough scrap. And I may not be able to make too many jumps over here, so. And if I go there and there's a store, I may still be able to ride the wave all the way around, so. It's worth a look. What's the worst that happens? I die and we end the video? 
Uh, you know what? I am not going to provoke that ship. Uh, it does not seem to be controlling, so I'm going to avoid provoking that ship. That looks like a lot of guns for three shields. A beam weapon. We're not doing that. Okay. So let's see if we can actually... See, do I do it with the devil that I know or the devil that I don't? Hmm. Let's go this way. Because I'm probably going to run into something bad regardless. So no ships are scanning or messaging you. And we get a store! Yes! Just in the nick of something. Now, I did reinvest in my ship so fast. So automated reloader. Oh, this is a uh, tiny store. Backup battery would once again be decent, but... The more important thing to do right now, even though I'm a little fuel starved, is just to repair. So any of those little repairs I can do is great. The whole repair drone would have been nice, but I don't want to cut into my drone parts if I don't have to. So this is not an ion storm, and this will slow down the rebel fleet to the point where I should be able to maybe hit all of these, or I should be able to hit that before the fleet catches up. So yay, tiny repair station saving the day, at least for now. So automated drone, FTL charging. What else is new? Let's put my own drone out here. That is a pretty massive gunboat. But since it's mostly beams, I don't think it's going to have enough to actually punch me, so... I'm not too concerned about their weapons. Now, the system damage sucks a little bit, but... I can just take out their FTL in time. Let's go ahead and prepare this, actually. There we go. Because dodging isn't going to matter very much. Although I did also get system bombed in the wrong place, so... Put you down here, get your shields back up. And I should actually survive! Yay! A fight that goes smoothly! Who knew? 21 scrap. I will take it. So I guess at this point it's just a matter of, can I save scrap a little bit? Maybe. I probably need one more reactor power, which is going to be 30. But now's the time where I really got to buckle down and maybe find another cheap weapon to throw in here or something. Okay, we're not doing that. We're not doing the asteroid field, as fun as that looks. We're going to go this way. I mean, I could probably handle the asteroid field. Demand they surrender their goods. And once again, they're trying to run away. Now this sucks, because if they do manage to run away, what that means is uh, bad things for me, as the Rebel Fleet's actually going to catch up. So we are going to try and take these bastards down as fast as possible. Now that flat gun doesn't look very pleasant, and neither does... Uh, really none of their systems look very pleasant to me, to be honest. And I would love it if the... Uh, oh no, not in the shield balls. Okay, this is not this is not going so well to start with. Because that flat gun's great for taking down shields. It's a lot of hits all at once. Whew. I think they're going to get away before I can do anything about it. Because I'm just not hitting them very well. Alright, well... Yeah, that flat gun, I'd really like to have one myself. Yeah, they're just gone. I need an FTL jammer to stop these guys at this rate. And you know what? I almost wish them happy trails too, because that was a uh, that was a tough cookie. But yeah, there you go. Kind of the weakness of the ship is that it is slow to kill things. I haven't actually seen an FTL jammer in a store, but right away, if I had not gotten some of those ship repairs, I would already be dead. So we don't want that. I would actually prefer to survive. And from the looks of it, the Rebel Fleet did not is not any the wiser, so that's a start. Even though I'm in a Rebel Stronghold, they really should be like, Hey, wait, why can't we catch these guys? They're right here. Okay, well, let's see if the next ship will kill me. I'm in danger. That's a start. It's an automated ship. Immediately identifies me as a threat. It's going to hack me. Please, please, not in the weapons or shields or drones. Please hack me in the door. Oh, and the oxygen! I don't know what hacking your oxygen does, but I guess we are going to find out. Okay, ion blast to the shields. Let's take on their, uh... Let's take on their shield system first, actually. Alright, so what is... Is it going to drain oxygen, I guess? 
So right now we're not totally safe from a halberd beam blast, but we did manage to survive that one. So like I said, I'm just not sure if they're hacking my oxygen, what's going to happen with it. But yeah, it's draining my oxygen. That's cute. I would rather have that than some other things. So putting pressure on the shields is what I'm going to have to do. And I guess I'm just going to have to work on the combat drone situation a little bit. Fortunately, I haven't faced too many anti-drone drones so far. But yeah, this is going to be a nice, sweet, simple little combat as now the hacking is dead. Long live hacking. Shields down, and there we go. Oh, that's how it's supposed to go. And 38 scrap to boot. And remember, we are in Sector 5. That's like pauper state. For sure, some other things by now. And I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm not feeling too great about my energy situation, so I am actually going to get one more power. And that way I can have 35% dodge. I would love cloaking. I'd love cloaking and I'd love a repair. We'll see what happens. So there's the Rebel Stronghold. Will I survive the end here? When the FTLs engage, you can go to the next sector. Short range scanner discover useful materials. Do I risk it? Let's risk it. Nothing. I was hoping for some stuff. The risk is that I take hull damage. Next sector, Rock Home Worlds. That could be really good, except that they shoot a lot of missiles. But I could unlock a rock ship. So that'd be nice. This is where cloaking is kind of vital. So right now we have nothing. No ships over here. Um... The unlock quest for the rock ship is uh, pretty awful for my current state of being because you have to survive in a solar flare for a while. Um, give them 15 missiles. Yay. And we get 5 hull repair. That's beautiful. So I will take that and 38 scrap. Distress beacon. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. We're just going to go like this. Ship distress beacon get more scrap. Would love to have 150 scrap for cloaking. Intruders on board, you passively scan a small rock station and exit beacon, but out of curiosity, your rock ship pulls away from the station and incoming teleporter signal as well. Yay! You have invaded my ship. Alright. And you've invaded my engine room. That's cute. Alright, well, while we're here, might as well put that up. And maybe I should grab a defense drone if I have an opportunity. And they did actually take out my air, so that sucks. But it could be worse. It's two shields. So what kind of missile do we got? Oh, wow, missile to the weapon room. Yeah, like I said, it could be worse. It just got worse. Fortunately, I do have good repairs in there. Please, please, please do not take me out. Here, I have to abandon the uh, engine system here. Chain laser needs to get its ass firing again. Here we go. Let's try this again. Two heavy lasers. So that cloak is bad timing. And they hit my engine just a little bit, so... This is what we're going to do. We're going to have to repair the oxygen here, since they are distracted. As much as I want to rapid fire the other thing. Okay, so now I can't dodge anyway, so I really need my shields up. Okay, let's get you out of here. Turn on the med bay. This is, this is looking really fun, if I do say so. Fortunately, they're, uh, everybody's dying. It's a good time. They're about to take out my doors. Okay, well. I guess I could try and prevent that by doing this. But I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. There we go, that's good. There's no air anywhere. So you're stuck in the weapons room. I really hope they don't repair in time. Okay, please, missile launcher, don't do your thing. Good. 
So that was some nice fun with borders. Maybe it's time to upgrade my doors. No, I do not want the uh, missile launcher up. That is not what I want at all. Okay. There we go. Okay, need to take out that cloaking. Need to just do some repairs. Okay, this is a pretty intense bit of combat right here, so that's not bad. So their cloaking's down. What about their... Let's take out their weapons. Before they can fire on me. I said before they can fire on me. I'm not going to accept their surrender. That missile's probably... Oh, it missed. Thank goodness. 35 just in time. One more shot should do it. Whew, that was intense. And I got about what I would have gotten before, so 130 scrap. And I've barely even scratched the surface of this sector, so I want to think a little bit about what I'm going to do with this scrap. I'm pretty sure it's probably better if I just bank it and save it for cloaking, if I can find a store with cloaking, which is a big if at this point. But otherwise, if I can just get cloaking, get a defense drone, get something that'll help me survive, and my drone count's getting low too, so I gotta watch out for that. Maybe I can make it, maybe I won't, but so far, having fun in hard mode, that's the idea. So this is way to fail. With uh, FTL, Advanced Edition Hard Mode, we are currently surviving Sector 6, Rock Home Worlds. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the boss or not. We may get instigibbed before then, but hey, at least we'll have a good time trying and dying. Take care, see you next time.